Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am doing another video where I put players into free agency and see what happens. And one thing I actually forgot to do last time, but I don't think it would have made a difference anyway. Regardless, I did it this time, I turned on the auto sign free agents. Yeah, so I'll have that on this time just in case our GM decides, hey, kind of want to pick one of these players up. But anyway, uh, if you're wondering how I landed on the Blue Jackets, well... It was random, baby. So, yeah, that's how we got here. And let's go to free agency. So I can show you all of the defensemen that just so happen to be here. I don't have to do this, but I'm going to go to defensemen anyway. And here we go. So we got Victor Hedman, 93. Kale McCarr, 92. Yossi, 92. And I'll just go through the whole list here. And obviously you're going to see like a noticeable drop off when we get to the last player. Yeah, there you go. So that's how you can tell. <laughs> Larson, 84, and then it drops right down to Sammy at 79. So that is it. And again, just explaining that if I did get a tie, then it was just whatever player was at the top of the list. And I think that's about it. So let's sim up to the regular season and find out which defensemen are gone by that point. Okay, wow, a lot of them. A lot of defensemen have been selected. Or wait, maybe it's because I'm... Ooh, maybe not. I do think that there was a fair amount, though. Like, 87 is the best here with Shabbat. And, obviously, there were defensemen above that. So, yeah, it looks like there was definitely a decent chunk taken. So, I'm going to sim up again to the trade deadline. And then we'll find out where all these players ended up going. And, if any more, end up going. I don't think they will, though. Usually, it's pretty much the preseason. And after that, nothing. But we'll find out. Well, it's about that time again. Time to view the lines. Chris Letang went to the Ducks. Arizona ended up getting Roman Yossi. Okay, that's a solid pickup. Boston Bruins, they got Dougie. Okay, which is funny because that's where he was drafted. They also got Rasmus Anderson. So that is interesting. There we go. Charlie McAvoy went to Chicago. Colorado picks up Victor Hedman. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a... Pretty decent replacement there for Kale McCarr. Nothing in LA. Nothing in LA. Quinn Hughes and John Carl. Oh my word. New Jersey is just hogging all of the defensemen. That is wild. They got Fox and Petrangelo as their second pair. Hughes and Carlson on their first pair. This team has to be doing good. They have to be. There's no way that they're not. That is crazy. They even It's kind of funny they grabbed Hughes, actually, because, you know, the brothers. All they need now is Luke. But anyway, uh, let's go to the Smashville Predators, who added Ekblad, Makar, and Rasmus Dahlin. I feel like it always happens that way. There's, you know, like some teams that just pile up. And we just got two in a row. Anyway... Moving on, Drew Doughty is now an Islander. Ottawa Senators added Miro and Zach Wierenski. Morgan Riley headed to the newest franchise, the Seattle Kraken. Nope, no additions there. Oh, okay, no, never mind. They added Shea Weber. I almost missed that. <laughs> I almost skipped right over that. Entering the deadline just for fun again. Roman Yossi is on Arizona's block. Latang is on the Ducks block. Jones on the LA Kings. Same with Spurgeon. Actually, you know what? Did I miss? I don't I don't remember seeing these guys. Did I miss LA or something? Was I not paying attention? Either way. Okay, they have Seth Jones and Spurgeon. Weber is on the block as well for the Capitals. All right. Interesting. I don't remember seeing LA. That's weird. Huh. Seth Jones and Athanasiu headed to Minnesota with a fifth in exchange for a first and Kalen Addison. All right. It's a pretty big trade. LA's actually not doing so hot, though. So, yeah, they have a record of 30, 30, and 6 at the moment. Actually, you know what else I didn't check? I didn't check our lines. I don't think we added anyone, though. Go to here. Did our auto GM add any defensemen? Nope. Florida Panthers win the President's Trophy by one point over the Tampa Bay Lightning, and they did not add any defensemen. The Tampa Bay Lightning also did not add any defensemen, and they finished second in the league. The Boston Bruins, I feel like they replaced McAvoy with someone. Dougie, yeah, that's right. And they also got Rasmus Anderson. They finished third in the league. The Minnesota Wild with 102. All right, let's see. Was it the top 16 teams? The Kraken did very well this year. No, it was not. The, ninth, the 20th place Chicago Blackhawks make it in with a record of 39-36-7. That should not happen. But anyway... 
Um, yeah, <laughs> let's let's not get into that. All right, let's have a look at some player stats, shall we? Quinn Hughes put up 78 points for New Jersey, and Hamilton put up 72 for the Boston Bruins. I that just felt weird. His name's Dougie. That is his actual name. All right, so I don't know why I called him Hamilton. It just sounds wrong. Is there players that you guys have like that where you just call them something and then calling them by, you know, like either their other part of their name or whatever just feels weird because that's me with Dougie. I just can't call him Hamilton. It just feels wrong. OEL put up 63 with Vancouver. John Carlson, 59 with the New Jersey Devils. Roman Yossi putting up 58. Drew Doughty, 55 on the aisle. Fox with New Jersey putting up 55, Latang 54 with the Ducks, Pacherangelo also with the New Jersey Devils. Look at this, man. Like, holy crap, are you kidding me? Out of the top nine, four of them are the New Jersey defensemen. If they didn't do good, I don't remember. Where'd they finish in the standings? I didn't really look. And who was the other team? It was Nashville that also really buffed up, right? Yeah, okay. Seth Jones, yeah, he got traded to Mini, that's right. Okay, so I wonder how Nashville and New Jersey did. I'm curious to see if they ended up performing well with all these defensemen or if for some reason they just didn't get it done. So Nashville ended up finishing 26th in the league when they had... Wow, look at that top four. That is illegal, but not as illegal as New Jersey's, which let's try to find them now. Where are they? Got to be here somewhere. New Jersey Devils, they finished fifth. Okay, so it worked out for them. Not so much Nashville, but definitely for New Jersey. And the Seattle Kraken end up winning the Stanley Cup. Wow. All right. Good for them. That is quite the season from you, Seattle. Who did they end up grabbing again? I kind of want to go look at their players. I don't exactly recall which defenseman Seattle signed. So let's go find them quick. Seattle Kraken and defenseman. They grabbed Spurgeon. Oh, and Morgan Riley. Okay, how could I forget? <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, so Maury and Spurgeon are here, and they carry them to a Stanley Cup. Incredible stuff. Time for the awards, as we do. Individual. So I'm just going to, basically for defensemen, Quinn Hughes with the Norris. All right. Raymond with the Calder attaboy. Keep it going here. Uh, no, that's normal. Different Spurgeon. Gets the uh, Jack Adams there. And yeah, okay, so the only trophy for a moved defenseman was Quinn Hughes on New Jersey. Gets the Norris. Here's the final playoff tree, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, um, I mean, you could like it if you want to. That'd be uh, pretty sweet. But if not, then all right, I, I get you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if you have any other video ideas, leave them down below. And thank you for watching. Hope you're having a good day. I'll see you soon.